This is the Humber from UK bag maker Covered, based in Bath in the south of England. Now obviously it's a wax canvas duffel bag, or as the Brits would call it, a hold all. Come with me for another foray out of the world of boots and into heritage style bags. G'day, how are you going? Welcome to Bootlosophy, and if you're new here, my name is Tech. If you're uh, really new here, consider subscribing as you watch this video. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands I live and work on here in the uh, Perth region, Western Australia, the Wajip people. As I said at the beginning, this is the Humber, named after the town or the river estuary in the north of England, near the ports of Hull and Grimsby. It's a duffel bag or a hold all, uh, made of wax canvas, so it's light and water resistant, made by the UK bag maker Covered. That's with a K, not a C. Now, I'll take you through it, but first, let me talk a little bit about Covered. Covered was founded in 2013 in Bath in the south of England. I think it might be pronounced Bath. They say that it was founded by a small collective of engineers, designers, and environmentalists who brought together a love of natural things technology and unique design into the bags and backpacks that they started to design and make. Now that is a very interesting mix of interests. Central to their business are the principles of reuse, recycle and repurpose and they say that they uh, consider sustainability in their design and operations. Uh, their bags are handmade in small batches much in the same way as the a small batch bootmakers uh, and that's in order to reduce waste and storage. Their bags are made in uh, overseas though, not in the UK, so the carbon footprint is not exactly minimized, <laughs> but they do say that they work with certified ethical workshops in China and in Vietnam. Let's go through the bag now and uh, start with a look around the outside. So let's start by looking at the outside features. Now it's obviously uh, a, a waxed canvas, uh, this is a natural 18 ounce cotton canvas. It's been waxed actually very lightly, but it is water resistant. This canvas is dyed with vegetable dyes and so should remain reasonably color fast. Um, if we take a look at the features of the bag, uh, there is one central sort of double pull zip. I, I filled the bag with towels so that it has a bit of bulk and I'll delve into that in a minute. Uh, on the outside, it has an uh, external pocket also zipped up here, which presumably you can put things like uh, travel documents and the like that you need to easily reach, maybe your phone and uh, uh, ear pods, that sort of thing. Uh, on the other side, there is a side zip, which is also similar, and it's actually uh, not that deep, it's about hands deep, so that might be where you put notebooks and that sort of thing. Uh, there's a covered sort of logo that you can get um, and then if I just turn that around uh, you have two uh, leather covered really nice feeling leather covered handles which I believe there is a kind of tube inside to give it a bit of bulk and quality now I, I don't like handles where uh, they're quite sharp on your on your in your palm uh, these are nicely routed and with the, the um, addition of, I think, a tube in there, it gives you a nice volume. Uh, there is a leather reinforcement that's stitched onto there and it's adjustable, although I have no idea why. I, you know, you, why, would you, why would you adjust that? What does the extra length give you? Maybe you can put a mat around it, maybe, I don't know. That's a possibility. Roll something up and put that through, maybe? Who knows? Uh, and obviously on the other side, same thing. Underneath, on the bottom, are these uh, four studs to protect the uh, lower surface of the bag. I have to say though, that when you first see this um, bottom strip of leather, you think that the leather goes all the way down to protect it, but it does not. Uh, Let's dive inside the bag. Oh, just before we do that, let me show you how this is, um, the hardware is connected here. Um, there's a little clip 
that if you undo, lengthens the, the bag or heights, gives the, the bag of the height its full height. Uh, or in most cases, you can just simply connect it here. Uh, fairly solid hardware. Uh, and the uh, shoulder strap is also affixed to the same D-ring, which is properly reinforced and riveted. So, you know, overall the construction is really very solid. The uh, shoulder strap is a webbing material with a leather and uh, canvas padding. Uh, very soft, very comfortable, it's very nice. Um, let's go inside. So, I've filled the bag with towels just to give a bit of extra depth. But as you can see, the lining is a cotton material, very soft and, and um, uh, very nice to touch. If I have one complaint, it's very loose. Now, let me just take these um, towel stuffings out so you can have a bit of a look. Uh, see what I mean by being very loose and fluffy? I think the problem with that, because it's not stitched to the corners, is that you tend to lose things, like socks get rolled up and you know they go into a corner and you don't even see them there when you try and um, unpack the bag. Uh, on one side, they've got, I have no idea why, two, I think, pen holders, but why you put your pens inside, I'm not entirely sure. Plus, they have these two pockets, which I guess you can put things like notebooks in them. But I have found that when I put things in them, they get lost because, as you can see, when you try and pack the bag, sometimes they go upside down. And I have found loose items quite difficult to find in this bag. On the other side, they have, this is a bit better, they have a couple of um, zip compartments and behind this front zip compartment is another uh, compartment. Uh, it's not covered. It has this little pull loop, but it doesn't attach to anything. So if you put things in there, again, there's every likelihood it spills out and gets lost. The zip compartments are a little bit better. Um, they're not too bad. They're actually quite deep. So you can put things in there and find them again. The good thing is, as you can see, the zips are really well made, in my opinion. And there's a second zip compartment, which is a bit shallower. It's about that shallow. Um, so those are the, the useful parts inside. Uh, the hardware is all steel, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's solidly riveted and so on, so I think it's secure. The stitching is very nice. Uh, I can't see, you know, it's a, it's a reasonable density stitching. I, I can't see any loose stitching or wayward stitching. Uh, the, this, the stitching of the uh, wax canvas panels is really well done and that is reinforced. There's two panels put together and then there is a reinforcement on the inside. Uh, was I telling you, I don't think I'd finished telling you, the hardware is steel, I'm pretty sure. In the website that says some of the bags uh, use brass, but these are all steel as far as I can see. Um, some measurements. The bag is 42 litres big. So that's quite a quite a reasonable size, hefty. It's a it's a long weekender, um, and really, I could pack a week into that. Uh, measurements: It's 36 centimeters tall, uh, 51 centimeters long, and 23 centimeters wide. But you couldn't tell the way it collapses. One good thing about the way it collapses, like all wax canvas bags, is you know you can store them very easily. Uh, the bad thing is, I think, when you're trying to pack, it's a bit unwieldy. But overall, I, I think it is nicely made. I think it's nicely constructed. There are some very uh, secure rivets all over the place. The zips, they're not YKK, but they're, they're very, very easy to use. and They open and close very easily. The canvas is a suitably thick cotton canvas. Um, I, I really like the color of this sort of khaki color. Uh, the patina on the very light waxing is just beginning to show, but it is very light. Um, not, it, it, that doesn't mean it's not water resistant, it is, but it's very light. So if you're expecting a crackling patina, I don't think you're going to get it with this. Uh, on the plus side, really nice hardware, really well sewn together, and it's very comfortable to use. I bought this in 2022, uh, just over a year ago. 
I have used it on a few road trips as well as a half a dozen or so business trips on a plane uh, and it fits in carry-on space very well uh, whether under seats or overhead. It is light and comfortable to put on your shoulder or carry in your hand uh, and light enough to throw up on the luggage uh, bin quite easily. As for value, it cost me 243 Aussie dollars, which is astounding for this quality build. Being made in Vietnam makes a difference, obviously, and it actually shipped from Vietnam. I am, however, still surprised that they didn't add on a premium markup because it is pretty good quality from what I can see. At that price, it is pretty good value. Well, there you go. On the plus side, it's a well-designed bag with plenty of room and compartments. It is light and easy to carry on shoulder or in hand. Uh, the price is certainly right and at 243 Aussie dollars, really good value. The materials are good from what I can see and the construction is good. On the negative side, look, there's nothing physical about the bag, but I, I kind of wish they dialed back their website marketing speak about sustainability and reclaiming when perhaps they do a good job, but, well, take a look at this. In explaining what is reclaimed leather, they write, reclaimed or repurposed leather means we source hides which would otherwise be discarded. I don't know what that means. Which hides are discarded? Do they mean hides rejected for other leather products? Or do they mean offcuts that would otherwise be ground into pulp? Or do they mean hides off food animals? And if so, isn't that what hides are used by tanneries anyway? I wish they'd be clearer to, to uh, uh, define that repurposing. They push the sustainability issue without my being able to really grasp it, making it overseas, for example, while good for the price, isn't exactly think global, act local. Anyway, I like it for the price and, and the quality, and I'll take their word about sustainability. Hey, don't forget to click on the like button to help me out, and if you haven't yet, click on subscribe as well. I'll be bringing you more boot reviews and reviews of heritage style bags and other stuff. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you soon.